And unless we have some driving reason that we have to get to Mars, I don't see us going there until there's been several generations of invention uh, under our belts. In, in exploration right now, there's no big rush, right? The, the Earth, the, the climate is changing. The climate always changes. Some parts are gonna become more habitable. A lot of places where people live are gonna become less habitable. There's that big shift happening on the Earth. But the Earth isn't becoming poisonous. There's not a big asteroid that we know about that's about to kill us all. So there's no great necessity for an exodus off the planet. So therefore, space exploration is not in a hurry. So no big rush. If we knew the Earth was being threatened, we know that it's hard to live on the moon. Mars is a much more desirable place, easier place for humans to live, but it is really hard to get to with the engines we have right now. It's maybe like when sailing ships were first being invented to be able to sail up and down the coast of Europe and somebody's saying, maybe we could sail as far as Portugal to Morocco. Let's sail all the way across the entrance to Gibraltar, or maybe just down the coast of Africa a little bit, or maybe out to the Azores or the Canary Islands. And then somebody else coming up and saying, no, nah, let's sail all the way to Australia. Australia? We can just barely make it to the Canary Islands. If we go to Australia, we're all gonna die. Or, you know, maybe one ship in a hundred is gonna make it but we don't, we don't know how to navigate. We don't know what food to pack. We're all gonna get scurvy and die. We don't know what to make the sails out of. We don't know how to keep time. How are we gonna know where we are? We don't, we don't know what we don't know. We haven't done any maps. It takes a lot of incremental invention and probing before you can safely start moving people over a vast distance with limited technology. And that's the stage we're at in space exploration. We have a moon. It just makes sense to test and prove and learn all of those things we need to on the moon. And it's a tremendous observ observation post for the Earth. And there's water on the moon. And it's a place to look at the rest of the universe. If God had intended us to uh, explore space, he would have given us a moon. And he did. So, so that's where we're gonna go next. And then eventually we'll have invented enough things that, um, that we can safely point and go as far as Mars. But, but it's, it's early yet.